Hello and welcome to this digital drawing tutorial. The app I'm using is Concepts and the building you see on the screen is the National Museum of Singapore. If you have seen this drawing before, well, it's probably because I've drawn this building with pen, ink and watercolor and colored pencils. So this time I have drawn this building digitally. If you want to learn how to draw this with traditional tools, you can check out my other tutorial. If you want to draw this digitally, all you need is the Concepts app, which you can download for free from their website. The link to their website is in the video description below as well. This is a two-point perspective scene. However, the vanishing points for this building are actually outside of the photograph. So when drawing this sketch, you will have to rely a lot on your observation skills. So the tools that I'm using for this sketch are the soft pencil tool and the pastel tool. The pastel tool is actually a paid tool. But you don't have to use that. Of course, you can use the pencil to to color as well as to draw, which is what I'm doing right here. So I started this sketch by drawing the big shapes first, the general perspective, just um, to make sure that I have the shapes, um, the big shapes out first before I fill in the details. And if you get the perspective wrong at the start of the sketch, um, the wrong perspective is going to affect all the other elements such as the windows, um, everything later on is going to be affected by the wrong perspective. So it's important to make sure you get the accurate perspective at the start of your sketch. And because this is digitally, you can actually create some drafting lines to help with um, the perspective. Do not start the sketch until you have um, the correct, the accurate perspective. So with the pencil tool, um, this is actually a pretty nice tool that I really enjoy using because I like the textured look of the pencil tool. So after drawing the big shapes, I'm just drawing the windows within the walls. Drawing the dome at the top is quite challenging because I have to make sure to get the right curve and you can see me undo several times. The advantage to drawing digitally is you can undo to correct mistakes. However, I don't really recommend you undoing uh, that often because uh, you should be drawing rather than undoing because otherwise you won't be able to get any drawing done. So the steps in front of the museum are also affected by perspective and I'm actually drawing those diagonal lines to the vanishing point which I have outside of the scene. The VP is actually in my mind. So I'm drawing those diagonal lines to the vanishing point which is in my mind. And now I have the trees, the plants in front of the buildings. Um, it's very, I would say, uh, crucial to have overlapping elements. This will make your sketch look more three-dimensional. When you have foreground and background elements, your sketch is going to look more three-dimensional, more lively and more physical. This is actually not a very complicated sketch. The most complicated part is actually getting the perspective um, accurately. For coloring, I'm actually using the pastel brush tool, which is a paid tool, but you can use the soft pencil tool as well. You just have to increase the size of the pencil to color the larger areas. Now with concepts, you can save up to eight shortcuts um, on the palette so you may want to just save um, as many colors as you can so that you can switch between the colors very quickly so i have the line art at the top the line art is on its own layer and it's at the top i'm adding the colors beneath the line art and i'm creating several layers for the different uh, sections of the sketch i have a layer for the building i have another layer for the ground another layer for the trees so i'm adding the colors to the respective layers 
having layers is using layers is very useful because if you want to make any changes later you can just make changes to the layer rather than mix all the colors into one single layer if you want to change things later for example if you want to remove the color from the trees um, it's difficult if you have all the colors mixed into just one single layer selecting colors with this app is actually quite easy compared to other drawing and illustration apps because this app is using the copic color wheel if you want to keep it to a limited color palette you just have to select the colors that are close to each other on the color wheel and if you need complementary colors you can just select the colors opposite the color you have on the color wheel the only downside to the color system the copic color system is it's difficult to get darker colors but um, without the darker colors um, because all the colors are light to meet values most of the colors are light to meet values it really helps to show off the line art so now I'm just adding the shadows um, to the shadow side to make uh, the contrast more obvious and I'm adding spots of colors to the sketch so far I have been painting um, the colors uh, as big shapes so now I'm adding spots of colors to make certain areas stand out to add details, um, textures to the plants and you can see with the pencil or the pastel tool you can get very nice beautiful textures and now I'm adding additional details to the museum more pencil lines because I feel like maybe um, there can be more details the photo was taken during the evening time so the cast shadows are not that dark so this also helps show off the line art that is on top and now i'm just adding the cast shadows to enhance certain uh, areas and adding more details concepts has an infinite canvas so you can see i'm actually using a very big canvas I'm actually coloring outside of the canvas and when I need to export this image to share on my social media pages I was just uh, zoom in to take a screenshot oh I realized that I have to add some tree trunks and branches to the plants on the left side I'm also extending some of the lines to the right side so this sketch um, is done so I've only used five layers for this sketch, one layer for the line art and four layers for the colors. So yeah, I hope this tutorial is useful. Go download Concepts if you haven't because it's a really fun and easy app to use and uh, brushes, um, the brushes with textures, they look really good. See you guys in the next video. Bye.